Hello, welcome to the footnote. This is the convex shapes footnote. I'm going to explain convex shapes to the best of my ability because I just learned about them about 45 minutes ago and I didn't pass high school geometry. So here we go. Right. So first off, this is a convex shape. This is a convex shape. This is not a convex shape. Anything that has an angle on it that is less than 180 degrees, acute angles, is a convex shape, okay? So if you do this, everything on here is an obtuse angle, so it is a convex shape. Now, there are some stipulations to this system in Unreal Engine that make it difficult to export things properly with accurate collisions. One of those things is if you want an object with a door or a window, because the easy way to generate a convex shape is to go in here, duplicate UCX plane, and edit it, and hit convex hull, okay? That doesn't work, you know? You can change these settings as much as you want. It's not gonna create a convex hull because holes are acute angles. They're less than 180. Now, there is a way around this, and the way is a little complicated, but it's gonna yield you some pretty spicy results. So I'll show you how to do this you're going to need multiple convex shapes. If you're familiar with Unreal Engine, you will know that down here there is a hull count option. Now, hull count is basically the amount of convex shapes you can have. Max hull verts is how many vertexes the shapes can have, and a hull precision is just uh, Unreal Engine's weird trying to fit things to a uh, shape. It's, it's confusing, and it doesn't always yield good results with this type of thing. So let's say we wanted four shapes, maximum six vertexes, and we wanted this to kind of work. It uh, doesn't. So you come into Blender here, and you've got your window. I'm just going to control N, so I'm making all the faces face outwards. You can have multiple holes in here too, and the way you do that is you just hit UCX plane and name them numbered. So you have 01, and you have 02, and you have 03, and you have 04. This is time consuming and is not always worth it, but sometimes it is. The best way to do this is to just take your existing shape, go one by one, and just make your faces, however you see fit, line up with your base shape. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. I really like just having things aligned to a grid because you'll see here uh, the window is perfectly aligned here, but the inside isn't. So I'm just copy and pasting parts from the original mesh and bringing them in. So then I go ahead and delete these. Remember, none of these can have floating faces. They've all got to be perfectly lined up. So we'll just scale down to zero, select this, cursor to selected, scale down to zero. And then uh, we can actually delete plane three, take plane two, duplicate it, and just mirror it, scale to negative one, and control N. And you gotta make sure these are closed faces. So you'll see here if I hit uh, forward slash, these are open. Make sure the names are correct. And do the same with all your other ones. Same with this guy. It's already good. And then we're 
we're just going to delete this one, which we can't see right now. Delete this one and mirror this down. And then you just select all of these and export the way you normally would. And inside Unreal Engine, once you import it, you grab your window wall with collisions. It should have your old convex shapes on it. Yes, perfect collisions. And this is using simple convex collisions. Really nice and really good way to get some accurate windows and doors and that kind of thing. Uh, it's not always doable, but when you can with this kind of thing, especially if you're doing like a physics-based game, you should use this instead of using complex collision as simple, which is an option, uh, because sometimes complex as simple is a little overcomplicated, but it, it does yield the same results. So that's your footnote. Uh, that's it. Nothing really exciting to talk about here. We're all done. Now you got a window you can jump through, isn't that nice? Perfect collisions with minimal effort. It's been a while since you've relaxed. Maybe you should just kick back and watch some TV shows, some trashy TV shows, eat some ice cream or some avocado, whatever you're into. Treat yourself. You deserve it.